Do you have some spring like fog? How about that? Yeah. yeah, we've got that sort of gray mistiness outside here across parts of Iowa here today at the noon hour. Uh, not everywhere though here. A few sky cams around the state. You notice up in Algona, there's some blue skies starting to peek through some clouds. The sun's trying, well, okay, a little bit ago it was trying to shine through the Marshalltown uh, cloud deck there. West Des Moines down to La Momoni, just overcast at this point. So that means a difference in temperatures too. 40s where the clouds have held fast through the morning. Morning. Actually, 30s to the north and west where there's sunshine because we've had some uh, drier, colder air pushing in that direction and yet a little bit clearing late last night. So you were able to chill down just a bit before the sun came up. So that's the current situation. Had a few raindrops too in far southeastern Iowa, places like Mount Pleasant, Burlington over towards the Mississippi and into Illinois. Here's the weather setup. So the kind of split in sky cover across the state is due to this boundary. It's technically a cold front, not moving a lot here at the moment, draped across Iowa. And then there's a warm frontal boundary down across parts of Missouri. Those two are going to kind of move towards each other here late tonight and line up just south of the state. And then the slow pressure center is going to ride along them here into the overnight hours. That'll bring us the chance of precipitation, but probably not a lot of the warm type of precipitation since we're going to stay on the cool side of those frontal boundaries to our south. So hour by hour the rest of today, the clearing skies to the north, they try to push a little bit to the south and east. They probably don't make it too far. Maybe if we're lucky here in the Des Moines metro, you start to clear out. Better shot probably as you head up towards Ames, Marshalltown, back towards Boone, Highway 30 and northward, probably best chance. So more of these 40s to 50s. 50s more likely if you are to the north and you have sunshine. And then late tonight, well after dark, is when we start to get a little bit of that precipitation. It'll probably be in the form of rain from, let's say, Highway 30 southward. Mixing is more likely to the north. Sleet, a little bit of some snow across the northern third of the state. And to the south, there might even be a few thunderstorms too. As you head down towards the state line, there might even be a couple of severe thunderstorms. Low end risk in this green zone that stretches from the Quad Cities south of Iowa City back towards Ottumwa, east of Lamoni, Centerville, and so on. For probably the best threat would be hail, an isolated larger hailstone during the late overnight hours down in that part of Iowa. Notice the temperatures everywhere though, pretty cold. So there might be where you do see a little bit of that snowy precipitation overnight. Brief couple slick spots, say Highway 30, Highway 20 northward early tomorrow. But then as we head through the morning, everybody works their way back into the 40s and we should melt anything that does stick to the ground briefly into the morning hours. By the afternoon, again to the north, we're trying to clear those clouds out with clouds stuck down in southern Iowa. Then the rest of the week, we're dry through the day th on Friday and then later Friday night is our next system we'll be looking at. This one looks to set its sights mainly on the eastern half of Iowa with rain and again a chance of some snow here too before we start off the weekend. Rest of today though, at least the daylight hours should be dry. Clearing north and west, south and east, still a little bit of that uh, mistiness and clouds. Showers likely then tonight here in Des Moines, maybe even a couple of rumbles of thunder. That chance of a hailstone or two, that's more likely to the south. The wintry mix more likely to the north. Rest of the, the weekend into the weekend, there's a few different chances here of rain or snow. We mentioned that one Friday night and then again Sunday into Sunday night. But during the days, temperatures pretty March-like, up upper 40s and low 50s each afternoon.